Welcome to this video on how to center the frame in Java. What I'd like is for the program to create the frame in the middle of the user's screen. Let me show you the problem. If I hit a Shift F6 at the moment it appears in the top left hand corner of the user screen and that isn't where I'd like it. I'd like it here in the middle. So what I'm going to do is to add some code that lets me do that. Having created the frame, I would then like to be able to center it. Let me show you a little trick. I'm going to create a command that says center frame. This is going to be a method that I'm going to use to center the frame. But I haven't got that method yet. Which frame do I want to center? Oh, I want to center a frame called fr. And obviously I need the semicolon at the end but you'll notice that the command is underlined in red. It says it can't find symbol. That means that method doesn't exist. Well, of course I can go in and create public center frame and everything will be wonderful. Or I could get NetBeans to do it for me. If I click on the red button and then click on create method center frame it then creates the method for me. Here's my center frame method with my JF as frame, which is what's needed as the argument to the method. It also adds a throw unsupported operation exception. What it means is, just in case, if you don't get to code this, put not implemented yet on the screen. But I've got news for you. I believe in cheating. I'm going to just delete this. I wanted to show you how you could create a method without having to type in all the bits around it. I've already created the method a little further down, but I put an X in front of it so that it looked as if it wasn't there. Here's my center frame method. It's public static void. It has to be static because it's going to refer to the whole program, not just any frame, not just a particular frame, but to all frames in the program. First of all, I'm going to create a variable of type dimension, and I'm going to call it dim, short for dimension. It's going to use a particular class called toolkit and Toolkit does all sorts of things. The thing that we're interested in at the moment is that it allows me to get the screen size. In other words, how big is the user's screen? Obviously different screens are different sizes and therefore the window would have to be in different places for different people's screens. If we know the size of the window we can set it up so that our window is in the middle of the screen. So it takes the so it gets the screen size and then it looks at the frame that we're sending it, FR. And it says what's the width of FR? Oh we'll call that W. What's the height of FR? Oh we'll call that H and now we'll calculate where the window is going to be. That's going to be the width of the, wi of the screen minus the width of the frame divided by 2. That means that we've got an equal amount of space on either side. Likewise we can take the height of the screen and take the height of the window from it and divide that by 2 and that means it's now centered top to bottom and we're going to call that Y. And now we can set the location of FR to X comma Y. If we do that, well what we get is a centered window and that makes life a little easier. By putting that into the template all our forms will always be centered and you don't have to write another bit of code. But how do you go about using this template in NetBeans? 
what you do is I have a, a package that I call test scripts an area where I put things in that I'm playing around with and in there that's where my template exists at the moment this program that you've just seen running I'm going to right click on the name of that and copy it now I've set up a package in which I want that program to appear but it's going to be a new program called my first frame so I right click on the package go to paste and go for refactor copy refactoring means it'll change some of the names for me so my first frame click on refactor and away we go what was my JF is now my first frame as you can see here and the constructor has also been changed to my first frame however unfortunately there are a few things that NetBeans can't do for you and it can't know exactly what you're thinking so it's still got my JF as the, in the uh, main section of the program I'm going to copy and paste my first frame and here my first frame into where that was so now our program will work as before I've just had to change the bit in main and I can show you that that works I'll save that shift F6 and here is my blank program that's how you create a simple template in NetBeans.